ओके सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज द नेजेरिया गोनोरिया सो दे आर ग्राम नेगेटिव डिप्लोकोकाई ओके एंड दे आर लेंस सेपेट सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ नेगेटिव स्टेन डायग्राम सो दे आर नॉन कैप्सुलेटेड सो नो वाइट स्पेस इज देयर एंड दे आर लेंस सेपेट ओके सो दे आर पिंक कलर ऑर्गेनिज्म लाइक दिस इन ग्राम स्टेन दे विल अपीयर लाइक दिस so the gram negative diplococci now come to the virulence factors virulence factors are almost same to the nasaria meningitis so let's see the structure so this is the plasma membrane you can see thin peptidoglycan glycan layer lipoprotein outer membrane it has the surface proteins and this is los in case uh, nasaria meningitis the, that was lps lipopolysaccharide now it is lipo oligosaccharide surface protein okay here the here the opacity proteins are there and also pili are there okay pili or fimbri are also present now one by one so outer membrane protein so porin protein present okay so pore a and pore b so in case here two major proteins pore b 1a and pore b 1b serotypes so pore b are differentiated into pore b 1 a and 4 b 1 b so no pour a is there okay in case of nasaria meningitis there was pour a so now they also shows antigenic variability now come to lps so they are not lps they are what los so they also provide structural integrity protecting the membrane from certain kind of chemical attack and also act as endotoxin endotoxin mechanism is discussed details in the nasaria meningitis please see this and now iga protease here oh, there was only iga but it is iga1 it will same act like same here you can see this this portion and separate like this the antibody would separate like this this now transparent binding protein and lactoferrin binding protein so they will catch the iron part from that iron transferring complex okay so only the iron they will take the iron 2 plus okay adenosine opacity protein and pili you can see same here pili are there and opacity proteins okay now come to clinical manifestation so in males they cause acute urethritis epididymitis prostatitis and balanitis balanitis in females mucopurulent cervicitis Valvovaginitis, spread, spread to bar Bartholin glands, endometrium and fallopian tube. Fitz Hughes Curtis syndrome. In both sexes, anorectal gonorrhea, pharyngeal gonorrhea, ocular gonorrhea. Okay, now this anorectal gonorrhea can spread through anal sex, and this is the oropharyngeal sex. Okay. Now in pregnant female. rupture it can cause the rupture of membrane which leads to premature delivery chorea amnionitis sepsis in infant in neonates ophthalmia neonatoda okay it is also caused by chlamydia remember this point very important thing ophthalmia neonatoda so clinical features will be purulent eye discharge with 2 to 5 days of birth within 2 to 5 days of birth now transmission mainly occurs due to birth form colonized maternal genital flora disseminated gonococcal infection characterized by polyurethritis rarely dermatitis and endocarditis in hiv infected person gonorrhea enhances the transmission of hiv by 3 to 5 folds okay lab diagnosis specimen urethral swab in men cervical swab in women now transport media stewards and amis media are used culture thymartin medium modified new york city medium biochemical test both are catalase oxidase positive fermentation only glucose remember molecular method pcr targeting 16s or 23s rrna now important thing is drug resistant in nasaria gonorrhea this occurs due to plasmid liquid which not occurs in case of nasaria meningitis so they are initially susceptible for to and most of the antibiotics like sulfonamide penicillins and quinolones so drug of choice will be third generation cephalosporin like cefixime and cefoproxime this is oral 
and cefotaxim and ceftriaxim this is parental error so guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video then please do not forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe my channel